competitive Pokemon Laura. I need you to tell me which one of these three Pokemon earned a World Championship qualification in VGC 2022 on the game Pokemon Sword and Shield. Base Rotom, Mega Kangaskhan, or Base Calyrex? Done thinking? Well, the correct answer is Mega Kangaskhan. But that shouldn't be right, it's not even in the game. Well, for today's competitive Pokemon lore video, I'll explain exactly how this happened. When VGC players qualify for the World Championships, they'll usually post a collection of teams that they use to qualify, but what's something that you notice about Zack Gray's teams here? Yep, that's a Mega Kangaskhan, along with a few other Pokemon that aren't in Pokemon Sword and Shield, Primal Kyogre and Mega Rayquaza notably. The way that Pokemon formats work, the World Championships occur in August. That leaves four months before the format shifts over to January to the next games. What this means is that any tournaments taking place within these four months actually count towards the next year's World Championships. VGC 2019 was the last time that Mega Kangaskhan was available, so these points had to come from post-Worlds 2019 tournaments. But it's been three years since 2019. Well, unless you live under a rock on Saturn, you'd know that the world basically shut down in 2020. Due to this event, the Pokemon Company International had to figure out what to do with VGC players' hard-earned points that couldn't be used to attend the World Championships in 2020. They ended up deciding that any points earned up until the point that the circuit had shut down would carry over towards the 2021 World Championships. Which also didn't happen. Fast forward to 2022 and we're playing in in-person events again. It was actually pretty recent that they started up, which is kind of crazy to think about. So basically, these points were from 2019 and are just now getting used to qualify people for the World Championships. This decision had a couple of unintended side effects, notably the fact that people would be earning World Championships invites with Mega Pokemon in 2022, players in younger age divisions would age up and overtake older players in the points rankings, and confused people would click on this video explaining the whole situation. This will likely never happen again in the future of competitive Pokemon, so I thought it was pretty deserving of a lore video, and a lot of people playing today actually don't notice that this is happening. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe to my channel for daily competitive Pokemon content. Also be sure to comment down below what Mega Pokemon you missed the most. Thanks for watching.